The natural direction for a process is determined by the overall increase in entropy. If there's an overall increase in entropy between the system and the surroundings, then that's the favored direction for that process. Now, processes that are at equilibrium, they can equally likely go from products to reactants or reactants to products. Or if it's a phase change from the liquid to the solid or the solid to the liquid. So what's the difference between a process that has a natural direction and a process that has equilibrium? Both directions are equally favored. Well, it's a balance between the entropy change. So let's look at a place where there's three phases in equilibrium, the triple point of water. Now you might say, well, how can these three phases all be in equilibrium? I know if I go from the liquid to the gas, that's an increase in entropy. I go from the relatively constrained liquid to the many microstates of the gas. And of course that's correct, but the error there is we're only thinking about the system. We need to think about the system and the surroundings to calculate the total entropy. So as you go from liquid to gas, you need to calculate entropy for the entire universe, the system and the surroundings. At equilibrium, that entropy difference will be zero. So liquid to gas transition, of course you go from the constrained liquid to the dispersed microstates of the gas. That's an increase in entropy for the system only. You know as you evaporate the gas, as you go from the liquid to the gas, that you have to absorb energy. So the surroundings gives up some heat. As that surrounding gives up heat to the system, the entropy of the surroundings decrease. So system entropy increasing, surroundings entropy decreasing, the overall balance is zero, and there's no net tendency for the reaction to go one direction or the other. It's equally likely to go from products to reactants or from liquid to gas. And as you go to the liquid to solid, same thing. When I go from liquid to solid, I release some energy. That increases the entropy of the surroundings. At the same time, the entropy of the system is decreasing, going to the more constrained solid. So a careful balance between the system and surrounding entropies can give you equilibrium situations. And if you're very careful, that equilibrium can exist between the three phases, and that's what happens at the triple point of water.